Hi pal, and welcome back to Horror Nights. Tonight we're actually gonna be doing stay and scream, which means if you have a normal day guest pass and a Horror Nights ticket, you're able to stay in multiple locations to be able to enter into Horror Nights a lot earlier. So with the event starting at six and the park closing at five, if you're in the park by five o'clock, we're able to stay in several locations to be able to experience the event a lot faster. So with staying here at the Today Cafe today, we're actually able to see the opening ceremony just a little bit closer than normal day guests would. They actually open the doors so when you can't go inside and purchase things too while you're waiting for Satan Scream. It's pretty nice. Which I've never been inside the Today Cafe before. It's really cool in here. I like it a lot. While we were outside, we actually had a team member hand us an event guide. When you open it, it shows you different survival tips. It also has the different add-ons that you can do for the horror nights. And they also have a big list of park safety and code of conduct that they expect from each guest to come into the park. Just for everybody's safety and well-being, you know? Oh, and they also have different pictures of the food items and the merchandise items kind of side by side here just as a taste of what you'll see when you come into the event. And then when you open it, if you need any help trying to navigate around, they show you all the different houses and scare zones, different live events, the rides that are open during the event, and then for the shopping, all the dining, as well as a giant overview of where everything will be located at for you. One thing that I like is that it actually shows the house exits because they feel like a lot of like maps will only show you where a location is for a certain attraction or ride but they never show you like where the exits of them will be at. So I think that's very nice. And then on the back also it shows and talks about the different multi-night tickets and everything you can buy to be able to come and experience Horror Nights. We have this one here, which is the one that I recommend doing, but we definitely want to try one of these two out next year. So what do you think about the Today Cafe? I think this is really nice. It's really nice to just relax and have wait in the AC. I, I'm enjoying it. I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. Sure. We have about 30 more minutes until the ceremony start, but it's so eerily quiet out here with everybody gone. You can only hear the scare zones back in the background. And there's our Dr. Oddfellow walking by for the ceremonies. You see his cane and hat right there, and that's him walking right there in front. All right, and there we have the dark Zodiac scare actors who are ready, waiting for everybody to come inside for the event. All right, and here we go, the opening ceremonies. Fellow's up on top, but we're not able to see him, unfortunately. We'll be back for it, though. for rushing inside with all the scare actors. The event has officially started. So before the houses get too crazy, we're actually gonna go back to the Dueling Dragons one, just to go ahead and get that one out of the way. It looks like Stranger Things is already a 120 minute wait. That's crazy. Campground Yeti Kills is also already at 35. I'm assuming this one's gonna be the exact same. Oh, actually no, it's gonna be 15 minutes, so there we go. Hopefully it doesn't jump up by the time we get back there. So for our first day in Scream, we definitely recommend doing that because this is so nice to be able to go to your first house. This is like a walk-on for us. This is so nice compared to the other night. For real. So definitely know which house you want to go to and base your stay in Scream location off of that. Just you'll be able to have the quick access to it, just like we've had for Dueling Dragons here. Because we're already right here at the entrance for Dueling Dragons and this has been maybe five minutes. We just walked straight to it. All right, so we just got finished with Dueling Dragons. It was, I mean, always good, you know? But since we've been in the park for a, a good bit now, and it's so, it's so bright out today, I couldn't see anything in there. My eyes were not adjusted. My eyes could not adjust, and I felt bad because I wanted to see everything, and then I couldn't, and I was right. like, I'm so annoying and everything. Right, but still, 10 out of 10 house. Like, yeah. still loved it, yeah. And with being inside of that for maybe just 10 minutes, Campground Kills is already at 65. It's crazy we've been shot up that much already. And what's nice, too, is to be able to see all the scare zones while it's still sunny out, so we can get more details. Get out where you can! Away! 
That was really close. I know. <laughs> Please, man. You need help? I need a lot of help. What, what with? What's going on? Look around, man. Pick something. All the good bands are dead. I... Oh. <laughs> 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 In here earlier before like everybody gets here and like while it's so bright out because you see a lot more detail. So all the different scare zones and you get a lot more fun interactions with people. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're gonna head into the Jungle of Doom now. This is the one I'm really excited about to see how the details look on these costumes during the day. Oh, there's Dr. Oddfellow. And there's Carissa. Hello. Zodiac signs on their chainsaws there. This is such a cool costume, the two masks. That's incredible. Oh. Finally able to see what's inside the trunks. It's getting a lot clearer now. I love the detail to everything. I love the Music Fester bus picture back here. That's so cool. I love this little guy the most though. And here's the set of the second trunk. This is so cool. It looks like a thing out of Toy Story. Is this just like a tuft of hair? Is it a rat? What is this? Like imagine like the Here's the jungle of doom. I love all of these pictures they have inside. So it's just a bunch of lights inside, but still it looks really cool. Show Nightmare Fuel. Can't wait to see this show. 
So excited. <laughs> about it oh it's so good it's so good it's so impressive like I could never do those things and it's just it's so it's amazing honestly yeah. like what they do I, I love it. it's amazing yeah we unfortunately weren't able to film the show but still it's definitely one to come to 10 out of 10 recommend it's amazing didn't even notice that the construction walls are down around men in black now it's alive all right we're gonna head back into the darkness field tonight to give it another try All right, so we just went through the dark steel again. Uh, I loved it. I, I think it might be, it might be my favorite house. It's between that and Dueling Dragons. I mean, he keeps saying that for every house. <laughs> right. But no, it was good. It really deserves the hype. I mean, it deserves more hype, I guess. Right. Because I haven't really heard people talk about it, but I really like it a lot. Yeah, no, it's, it's one that I'm going to go back to time and time again. Like, I, I love that house. I still, I, I don't know what I gave it last time, but I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 this time. Really? Yeah. Wow. I would probably still Personally. give it like an eight. I mean, I mean, but, okay, yeah, that's, that's just me. <laughs> Either way. We're about to check the wait times right now, but look, a DeLorean. <laughs> so we have 35, 60, 120, 60, 75, 70, 75, 60, 75, and 95. What's Monsters at right now? Monsters is the 35, so let's go. <laughs> We really enjoyed this house the other night. I'm sure we're going to again tonight. All right, so we just did Monsters Unmasked. It was great. Yeah. We came during a set change, so things yeah. were a little bit off, which wasn't too bad. But still, regardless, still a 9, Always 10 a out of 10 house. house. Yeah, I'm not sure Always what I gave it last house. time. I'll still say 10 out of 10, though. It is, it is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> be able to see it too well but there's a Megan Ford starting right here. After the show, if you do want to meet them, they will be standing here for meet and greets afterwards, which is really, really cool. I love that they do that. So we're about to try the walk and talk on at the Day of the Dead bar. You can actually get all the selections here, as well as right here too. So instead of waiting in this long line here, there is this area that you can get it right here, as you can see. It's just not as well lit as this one over here is, which is why a lot of people tend to ignore it, but it's definitely a lot easier to do. If you do decide to buy something here though, the line for food right now starts here and it wraps all the way up here to the fountain. You kind of can't really tell because it's so dark. And this is going to be a long wait.
And while she's waiting on her food, I'm gonna be over here at Mel's Dying, eat some treats to get my peanut butter burger. We can try them both at the same time. So first glance of it, in the dark, unfortunately, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting, but I'm extremely excited to try it. All right, so Krista just got the walk and taco. It's a lot of lettuce. I, well, uh, that's right on top. I feel like there's more stuff underneath. Yeah, okay. there is. Yeah, just mix it around. This is hard to mix, though. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really good, though. It's honestly kind of smaller than what I thought it would be, but it's really like nice looking. I can't wait to try this. So, what's your thoughts? It's so good. I mean, it's a taco in a bag with Fritos. Like, what's not to love? And you can get it vegan. Like, yeah, it's great. I definitely recommend it. It's even, it's cute. I like it. I'm a fan. I would get this like every night. If I didn't like other things, and if I didn't want to try other things, this is like a very safe, good option. The Fritos are huge. I know, they're so big. Yeah, it's just like it says a taco, but it's really filling. Like there's a lot in here for the price. So I feel like this is going to be one of the better things that they sell this year. I agree. Let's look at it real quick. What do you think? I didn't really get a lot of the peanut butter. Like it just tastes like a normal burger to me. It is kind of spicy though, which I do like, but I don't really taste a lot of the peanut butter. So I'm gonna try one more bite to see. Yeah, I unfortunately don't taste a lot of the peanut butter, but it's still a really good burger. Like I would get this again. It's kind of small, but I, I like it a lot. It's funny. Like I can feel the peanut butter more than I can taste it, but it's there. I don't know, maybe it was just, Maybe it was just more in um, my bite, I guess. I like it though, it's a good combination. I wouldn't necessarily think that, like just straight forward, but the peanut butter in this actually, I really do enjoy it. It is very sticky though, so I feel like I'm like licking my gums or something. <laughs> scares on there is. I'm gonna go through Minion Land. <laughs> so being that tomorrow is Labor Day, it is extremely busy here tonight. Right now it is midnight, so we still have two more hours left of the event. Most of the houses are posting a 60 minute wait time. So I think we're actually just gonna head out for the night because it's just so crowded here. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. My feet hurt, so I'm gonna call it quits and then come back. Uh, what, Wednesday? Yeah. You enjoy your night, my dear friend. Thank you, I will. may be your last. <laughs> well, my boy, I don't waste time. All right, and that was Halloween Horror Nights again. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We got to do pretty much everything that we wanted to do today. We accomplished a lot. Yeah, um, oh yeah, it was yeah. fun. We went through a lot of, of the scare zones today and it was really fun to see them in the daylight. Yeah, all really the detail. To really bring that detail out and yeah. see all that fun stuff. We also went through a few houses today too, which they're always going to be stellar, 10 out of oh, 10s, yeah. you know, and we tried some really good food today. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to come back later this week to try it even more. So that was our night here. And one more thing before we go. You look great, by the way.